<coughs> okay, Bugsy, go ahead and go ahead and do it. Go ahead and do it. Uh, the Bugsy No Name channel. 
don't oh, know. I just felt like that needed. To be, I needed to do something creepyish. Because I could do, because I could do this voice. <laughs> I should have drunk some water though as I was singing. Though know? I'm starting, my throat started to get dry. Mm. Hmm. So what's cre what weird? Um, I wouldn't say Little Mac is the most uh, overpowered character. It's just like. People use them because they know they can't do... I mean, some people just use them because... Some people use them because... Well, actually, I wouldn't say he's overpowered. It's just how people be using them. Because they can... Because really, with that one KO punch, if they do it right, he can... You can get an easy... You can get an easy KO. So... YouTube, YouTube apologizes for a free album on iTunes. Is that Bono? <laughs> he is always number two, Bugsy. He is number two. <laughs> oh, you're stupid, honey. Well, I can, I can seriously, I can't believe you did. I can't believe you sung that. That you would have some trouble. Kinda dead, but eh. Dude, why do you keep showing Rogue Leader, dude? I wanna freaking play that thing! No, it needs to be all freaking, it needs to be somewhere, like on the Wii. You, oh my god, Golden Freddy has red eyes! I'm Okay, Bugsy, I think. Yeah, my, uh. butt cheeks are clenched. I don't know, why is that like always our first thing? Uh, no, the jumping is our first thing, then we clench. That's uh, kind of how I see it. Hey, you know, I put this I put this video on DeviantArt, and you know, Succubus has been stalking me and Annie's pages. Ah, oh, that bitch needs to leave you alone. Needs to leave you and Annie alone. You guys didn't do shit to her. And she wants to mess with you guys. Don't you gotta miss? Don't you gotta miss the old days where you used to freaking beat do do beat people down, and you were able to freaking scare people with one, with just a glare. Yeah, I kind of do, but yeah, I've gotten used to how things are now. True. So have I. I mean, I'm not really the. I mean, I am still a horny devil, I am, but it's, I'm a lot more, a lot more controlled, if you know what I mean. Like, I have more control over myself than back then. Hmm. <sighs> Iron Man doesn't even fight anymore, you know? Eh. Hey, dude, 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 dude. Let's go to our Twitter. There's something we need to show people. Oh yeah, we need to. We need to. Pretend you don't see that, kitties. Pretend. <laughs> eh. I'm thinking of getting one of those figure, those figures. Think I should? If you want them. Okay, but here we go. These are the Wario. These are the Wario pictures I took. It's Wario versus Wild Luigi, and yeah, since Wild Luigi couldn't be in, I just said I'm gonna use this me and just have him dress as Wild Luigi. My, look, it's like Wario surprise. Like, what? Are you, oh. What the crap? Why Luigi? Why do you look like that? Oh my god. Now get in my belly. Get in my belly. 
No! No! Yes! And here goes Waluigi's final blow, his uppercut. Or I call it the Purple Rose uppercut. The Purple Rose uppercut? Yeah. What do you think? Cool, I guess. Waluigi! Wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wish, like, um, you could go into the victory screen, right? And just be like, I wish you can go into the victory screen and just have, like, your Miis do whatever. Like, and then you could have, like, I could have this one, I could have the, the, uh, me version of Waluigi do, like, do a crotch chop. And I'd be like, he'd be like, wow, no, Luigi, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do Waluigi's voice, yeah, I can, but I don't really use it. I mean, there's never been a time where I really had to use it. So, hmm. Wow, wow, Luigi, yeah, yeah, yeah. But then again, it sounds too much like it sounds too much like Wario, and I really have to like make a distinction. Work on him making his voice a little bit more distinct from Wario. Hey dude, I'm gonna, I'm gonna read you a question we got off of our, uh, I'm, I'm gonna read you a question we got off of our Tumblr. Bugsy, whatever happened to the Noir Bugsy series? Ask me, tell me. Well... The thing is, the thing is, um, that I tried, the thing is, I want to do another Noir Bugsy, uh, video, and he's really, you know, Noir is really going to be in, like, the storyline that we've, uh, put in for the, uh, channel, but for right now, nah, Noir's taking a little break. But I still want to do, like, episodes of Amigo, of him being on Amigo, and him talking like this, you know, kind of like, kind of gravelly, kind of like Batman with Warshack, and a little bit like this, you know. So, yeah, I guess I can have him do another video, but it's hard to do videos in Amigo when, uh, because you gotta do them at certain times, or, uh, Let's just say you'll face some some consequences. Some consequences you don't want to be in. My thing is, why do people on Amigo jerk? My my thing is, why do people on Amigo jerk uh, jerk when they and jerk? And you know they don't jerk. It's usually like do. It's really like dudes go down and they should be like. They, because people are sick, how many people are more perverted than me and you? I don't care as long as it's a, as long as it's a human being, they can go in and get the rocks off. That's freaking weird. It's as weird as that time you and Coco would put on the greatest sex show on earth. Dude, can we not talk about stuff with Coco? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you were still getting over it. Sorry. It's all right. So, so, buddy, <clears throat> are you gonna do like more? Um, are you gonna do like more um, Broadway like songs? And I gotta listen to it a little bit, and then I then I'll do it. I'll do it. Oh, that's cool though. They got the same show for you get to play as Johnny Get. Okay, why are the Saint why are the Saints in hell? I don't get it. Like, seriously I don't. The loot! The warrant! <laughs> I love you if you get that reference. The I don't get that every reference. Single month with over forty dollars worth of geek and gamer related collectibles, and as you probably have guessed, I kinda like collectibles. Duh. Things that you can only get exclusively 
from Loot Crate. This is a magic box. It's Loot Crate in the box. If you want to sign up, go to LootCrate.com slash Black Nerd Comedy. And if you stick around, I might tell you how you can get a little discount when you sign up, too. What, what? Stay tuned. But first. Aw, oh, dude, we need to sign up for that Loot Crate. Think of all the stuff we could probably get. It's not going to be porn, honey, if you're thinking that. I'm not talking about porn. I'm talking about, like, certain collectibles and certain somebody needs for a certain collection that he has. And maybe something for his... Something for his bro that, uh... That he'd like. Let's unbox this thing. Look inside, honey. Why does it look like a robot is touching Darth Vader's butt like? Let it happen. Just let it happen. Oh, let's talk about that for a minute. Why are you making a Tetris movie? People, there's no... I mean, out of all the games you can pull from, you're making a Tetris movie. A Tetris movie. Why? Just why? Is it going to be a live action? Is it going to be an animated thing? And I hear the freaking... I, fre I hear the anima the animation studio that's going to be animated with the same people who made Food Fight. Oh, God. Oh, God. You guys are freaking... You guys are crazy. And not in a good way. Not in a good way. I don't, I don't want you guys to f with Tetris. Tetris doesn't need a movie. It has no story. I don't care what anybody says. It has no story. I mean, if you're going to make a cutesy um, for the kids, I understand. But really, it really doesn't have any story you can draw from. I just don't, I don't understand. We don't get a freaking, we don't get a Legend of Zelda movie. Oh, no, that would be too awesome. That would be too awesome. Uh, I say blame the Mario. I say blame the Super Mario Brothers movie. And the thing is, they can do a Mario movie now because we got so much lore to pull from. I'm telling you, the anime was better. Yes, it was a thousand times better. At least they understood one thing: the Mushroom Kingdom, Bowser, and Mario. And Luigi was kind of greedy in that, and I just didn't understand because Wario has that, but I guess that was before Wario or during Wario's conception. I'm pretty sure. But I'm, not, but I'm just so on the fence with uh, Tetris, with Tetris the movie. Because, really, do we need a Tetris movie? We can't get a Mega Man, we can't get an actual Mega Man movie, we're getting a Sonic movie, um, I think two years from now, or like three, and we're getting that, but we are not getting a freaking, you know, we're getting a Sly Cooper movie, a free, and a, you know, Ratchet and Clank movie, but we're not, but, oh, oh, we just, you guys have to make a Tetris movie. And with, and if, if it's like Food Fight, I do not hold much hope for it. I mean, I mean, even a Donkey Kong Country movie would be awesome. I'm just saying, there's a lot of these, like, there's a lot of these, there's a lot of these movies, a lot of these video game movies that are coming out in two years from now. And but oh let's get well uh, but let's get Tetris. But meanwhile at Sony, free game we're getting a we're getting a Popeye movie. At first I thought it was finalized, but I guess Gendy Tarkov Gendy Tarkovsky's trying to get everything greenlit. I thought it was greenlit though, but I guess not. But I'm just saying, man, Sony, Sony. I keep hearing you gonna put you gonna put Spider-Man in the Avengers. And I like that. Spider-Man should be in the Avengers. He's earned it. You know, he should be in the Avengers. I don't care. He should be. I don't not in the current storyline that they have set up now, but I think he should make a cameo. And yeah, 
if you're gonna use this, if you if you're gonna use that Spider-Man, use the same actor. I don't care what you guys have to do. You just do it. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I like Spider-Man the movies, but the comics to me have been slowly declining. And uh, the thing is, and there's another, I, there's another person I wanna like talk about. And yes, I'm talk, I'm gonna talk about B.W. Roses. So for all everybody that hates them, you can leave. I can't believe we opened with the Jekyll and Hyde thing, and we're talking about like fan stuff. Well, what'd you think we were gonna do? I don't know. I thought we were gonna freaking. I don't know. I thought we were gonna do something spooky and Halloween esque and all this good stuff. But you want to do fan stuff? Hey, I just want to do this, and then like. Today or tomorrow, we'll do something scary. Okay? Okay, let me go grab. Okay, let me go pull BW Roses' account up, Bugsy. While you, uh, regale the. And you know, really, I don't like the. I don't like the, uh, Blackbuster critic. He just kind of. Saying, oh, we know you're on this. He's just one of the people that just hate on him. And I'm just like, why do you hate? Why do you guys hate on him? He's just a, a guy can't say, a guy can't say his opinion without you guys just going ape crap on him. Now, he's not like Gligar Vids. Gligar Vids intentionally insults people. But when this dude just sits down, when this dude just sits down and talks about, like, say, like freaking Disney in the afternoon or Sonic, you guys just lose your freaking minds. Someone explain that. Someone explain why you guys hate B.W. Roses so much. And oh, he didn't want to read the, he didn't want to read the Mecha Sal, the Mecha Sally arc. Okay, that's his prerogative. You guys act like you were offended by that crap. Let me tell you, I wasn't. If he didn't want to see it because Sally was turning into a freaking robot, that's that's his choice. You guys can't be all like, hey, I didn't like a baby. It's his choice. We all read the comic. I really did like Me you know, Sally turning into Mega Sally because I really wanted to see how they were going to reverse it. But thanks to Ken Penders, thanks to that mother money grubbing, freaking fake mustache looking, howdy doody looking mother, we freaking got the comic rebooted. So I will never. So other than Ian's, other than Ian Flynn's lost head talk tales, I will never. We will never really see how we'll be reversed, and that's what pisses me off. Yeah, I do feel like I do feel like Archie still gives you know, and this dude like Gre Dan Gleason, he's talking about you know I got this from B. A. Rose's video. They do still give a damn about their characters. They're just trying to tone everything up. They're trying to get you into this new universe, so that's why they're doing these two adaptations, so you guys know what's up. We don't have the same co we don't have the same continuity anymore because of Kim Penders. So I say, put all your hate, all your anger at Mr. Kim Penders. Put it all at him because he deserves it. Don't be blaming Archie. If they had that freaking signed agreement that Ken signed, because I'm pretty sure he did. Seriously, I'm pretty sure he did. I'm pretty sure they had it. I'm pretty sure they had it, they just lost it, and if they had it, freaking King can do sh he'd just be sitting there, he'd just be sitting there, you know, twiddling his little thumbs. You know, Vorak295, it doesn't really surprise me that he, along with Mix Fan and many others, have really come out in the past few years. But I'm going to go to where I was, other where I was kind of. Was important. That is why any time the K 
character gets... Oh, I mean, anytime it seems that the character's going to get killed off or be put in a situation that may seem irreversible, they always find a way to reverse it. You know, with the whole Mecha Sally deal, you know, yeah, I didn't like the fact that she got roboticized and then later on weaponized. I didn't like it. Nobody did. Well, not... I kinda did. Because I'm not saying it's something I'm probably gonna do in Sonic Freedom Fighters. That would be just... And fuck you for disliking his crap. He just sits down and freaking talks about some Sonic stuff. And you all have to go freaking ape shit over it. You guys all have to go ape shit over it. God. And no, I'm not being some sort of white knight. I'm just saying. This is ridiculous. He gets all the hate. The boom. Glygar Vin's got like a whole bunch of fucking supporters. Ready to attack us. Because he's really, he's the one that really ticks people off. I don't know why BW Brothers takes like every single last one of you off, but it really takes me off, you know, and you guys need to understand, like, seriously, like, why someone did that to you in your videos, just kept disliking them, kept going at you and at you and at you and at you and at you, you know, like, over and over and over and over and over and over with no sign of stopping. Yeah, you know, and I'm saying you, some of you wouldn't care, some of you would get pissed off. But most of you would get pissed off. Am I correct? I'm not wrong, am I not right? But I'm just saying, wouldn't many of you get pissed off? And also, for the people that were saying, either saying, you know, damn, wouldn't just do crap just because I was sending my thing to undesirable fangirl. She was freaking talking about. She respects the fact of cutting herself. She respects people who cut themselves. And she's pretty much pro suicide. And the fact that I've lost two counter. Again, the fact that we lost two people to suicide this year. Oh, sorry if I'm a little bit. Sorry if I'm a little bit ticked off. Ugh. <sighs> Sorry if I'm a bit ticked off, everybody. Shit. Okay, Bugsy. Uh, you go. Yeah, I'm sorry. It just really that sh that shit really took me off. Do you understand what what I was saying in that video? Why it got me upset? Why it got me so angry? Why I wanted to rant so bad on this girl? It would make her head spin. But hey, hey. I'm just a YouTuber that only some of you pay attention to because of YouTube. What do I know? Besides a few other things that probably some of you, some of you bungholes out there don't know. <sighs> Bugsy, calm down. I'm calm. I'm calm. I'm so calm, honey. It just really takes me off some of these bungholes on YouTube. YouTubers that yeah we don't have the we you know we don't have the Ray J Johnson views we don't have the Shane Dawson views but we still keep it going we still keep it pushing even if some people only if some people watch our videos we still keep it going you know and I see I, you know what would you rather have a guy that just does videos for money. And only money, making his old work that he actually spent his time on, at the real enjoyable part. Then just quick cash grabs for views. Or do you want a person that actually doesn't do it for money, but still tries to push out a still tries to push out a product because he cares about his fans? God dang. <laughs> uh, excuse me everybody before I talk more about Sonic I need to get some water I'm, si I'm serious that Jekyll and Hyde stuff kind of really dried up my throat and that little shouting match I just had really helped with drying it out so give me a minute I can do this 
Hey guys, I'm back. I just wanted to say. <coughs> well, not that. I'm just. God dang. That chicken in those. Ch that chicken in that ranch is go going up. Oh god, Lexi, it smells horrible. Jesus. God dang. I'm sorry. I was. I was. Freaking out some ranch and hot sauce. Yeah, man, but why did you have to follow it up with those guacamole chip? Those guacamole tigers. They were good. Okay, they were good. Let's not let's not go into the past now. Let's keep talking about this this reply. So it's a reply of a reply. Not a lot of us did. There was some that did, some that didn't. But the point is not many did. And even though we're gonna find we out who she was. Oh, but let, before I keep before I keep this going, I hear there's another freaking crossover with Mega Man. There's gonna be another crossover with Mega Man. I keep hearing that. Like, why? Are you gonna reboot the world even more? Why are they gonna reboot it back? Because either way, that'd be pretty cool. If they like reboot some of the, you know, Ken Pender characters into existence, that would be okay. Was going to originally be restored, there was always a plan to make her flesh and blood again, right? So, even though that plan fell through, she still got revived in the soft retcon, soft reboot, with a new look and everything, new design and People everything. People still care about Sally, she, regardless of what the Sony fans may say, and because why? uh. Because even though Sega, according to Vorak two nine five, may not give a darn. If you will, any more about I still think like that I still think Sega does, but it's like it's like you know they should be in the comic. I mean, the, our games don't really get enough story as it is, so they should be in they should be in a freaking place where they can have as much story, as much story, as much character development as possible. I mean, not to say I wouldn't like the Freedom Fires in. Sonic game, I would, I would be so happy. I would, I would be, so, I'd just be really, really happy. But I under, you know, you know, now I kind of understand. And I mean, kind of. I don't fully understand. But you know, it's like, um, but I feel like you know they more belong in the comic than they do, probably Sonic Boom or any of the Sonic games. Then again, I'm still crossing my fingers, hoping, hoping that the Freedom Fighters make an appearance in that game. I am not getting the new game that Sonic Team's working on. <laughs> I'm still hoping and hoping and hoping. Honey, honey, do you have anything to add? Uh, not really, man. I personally think, I personally think they should just stay in the comic book and then probably be in Sonic Boom, or at least. You know, you were talking about like all the all the uh, Sonic fans are actually going to be animating certain Sonic things, and you're going to be doing your uh, we're going to be doing Sonic Freedom Fighters. So it's like all these Sonic things running at the same time. Yeah, I bet you maybe they'll do maybe they'll do maybe, they'll, maybe that's what they'll do for Sonic Boom. They'll have another Sonic show running with that, but who knows? I don't know. Maybe. But, you know, Sally is important. Her, or Antoine, or Bunny, or Rotor, or Dulcie. A lot of people at Archie Comics, especially the writers, don't want to take the chance that Ken Penders did and say, okay, we're going to kill these characters off and that'll be it. They'll be gone. No, they don't want to take that chance, especially with these characters. Wait a minute. Brian Stringer, the season. Like Sally. Dude, head. calm down. We ain't thinking about eggnog right now. Come on, man. You know you want some. Established in the Sonic lore. They are. No matter what you say, they are. And yeah, you know, they may not give a darn anymore, according to people like Vorak295, but I still think it's that they basically do. because of the fact that right now, they're, Sega themselves, from a business standpoint, are looking mainly at how successful the games have gotten lately. 
and they want to do more. They want to have more success. And, you know, that's why they're doing Sonic Boom. That's why they're opening up this new section of the Sonic franchise, because they want to see where they can go with that and see how successful they can be there. And if, it, can, and if it does get successful, maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll have an intercontinuity Sonic crossover. Who knows? And you guys know what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Personally, though, I think I think that they I think you know the Freedom Fighters are part of Sonic's history, and I don't care what anybody says. Oh, they're not in the games. I don't freaking care. They're part of. The, they're part of Sonic's history. They may be only a part of the comics in Sanium, but they are still part of his history. No matter what. And even there's a timeline theory of Sonic, and uh, yeah. I think I'll show you guys that in a, mi uh, a little bit later, like, hi tomorrow. But yeah, there's a big giant timeline. Uh, I will uh, give you a link to it after this. But that's about it. Uh, that's all I really had to say about that. I really do. Again, people, regardless of what you guys may believe, I still think I'm not. I'm not shitting on your opinion or anything. I still think that Sega does care. I mean, if they didn't, they wouldn't be a Sonic Boom. I. F I feel as if. Sonic Boom is testing the waters. Testing the waters and seeing if people want to see another Sonic show. Testing the waters, seeing if they want to see if they want to put the Freedom Fighters in another Sonic show. If Sonic Boom does astoundingly well, and if the if the movie does well too, you know. We can't just sit. We can't just sit here and be like, oh. We can't just sit here and be like, oh, Dan. All, all I gotta say is they don't really care about the Freedom Fighters. All I really say is that they don't really care about the Freedom Fighters. Yeah, we can't just sit here and say that because, like I said, contenders, contenders really did have Archie by the by the balls, by the hair of their chin chin chin. You know, and you know, Sega was about. I think Sega was really about to when the reboot happened. I think the Freedom Fighters were about to like, get get gone, but um, then freaking Ken Pender said, "No, I don't want that." Um, you know, me. You know, we'll work on a, some sort of agreement, and whatever their agreement was, whatever their agreement was. Um, they uh, decided on it. We don't know what that agreement was, but they decided on it. And I guess the Freedom Fighters are still in because they got to sell it outside of court. But that's just me. Well, see you guys later. Well, that's all I have to really say. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you didn't, well, I'm sorry. I'm sorry if I can enter entertain you or talk to you, blah, blah, blah. But for those of you that did, I'm happy. You mean your happiness. Shut up, man. Don't keep doing it. I'm happiness. But, how do you quit it? Ness. Quit. Quit that, I mean. Okay, okay, okay. Make chicken flips over the moon. Dude, what if they reverse that and it just sounds like buy more chicken stock? Honey, that'd be the most randomest thing that would ever happen. Why would chicken sound the same frontwards and backwards? Uh, I don't know. Exactly. See you guys later.